This video shows you how to change the country that your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube was registered in. This would be handy if you've moved address, moved to a different country and you want to download apps that are more local to you at your new location but are not able to because your Fire Stick is still registered to another country. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide shows you how to change which country your Fire TV stick is registered to so you can get apps from a different country. Now don't think to yourself, you'll just be able to change to any country. You do need to have an address in that country and also you do need to be in that country or certainly you need an IP address of that country because if you're trying to download an app from one country whilst you've, you're, you're connecting to an IP address from another country, it still won't let you do that. So uh, you do actually need to be in the country or possibly have a good uh, VPN which is attached to your router or to the Wi-Fi access point. So from the moment you start up your Fire TV stick or your Cube, you're connected to an IP address in the country that you intend to use the apps or download the apps from. So you need to do this on a computer and you do need to have your Amazon details ready with you. These are the details that you log in with to the uh, Amazon account that's attached to your Fire TV stick or your Cube. So what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to go into a browser. Any browser will do, but I would recommend Microsoft Edge because it's on virtually any Windows PC or Safari, obviously, or Chrome if you're on a Mac. So let's just go into that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to amazon.co.uk or you could go to your local Amazon which might be amazon.com if you're in America, amazon.es if you're in Spain, amazon.it if you're in Italy, amazon.co.za if you're in South Africa, say for instance, amazon.au if you're in Australia, you'd get it, amazon.mx if you're in Mexico. Okay, so you're gonna to need to sign in. So let's just go up to hello and sign in and sign in, that's if you're not signed in already. Now, you need to type in your Amazon registered email. This is the one that's registered with your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube. So I'm just gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video whilst I'm doing that. Give me two minutes. I've typed in the email address. Now I've blurred this out for security reasons. So I'm just gonna click continue. And now I'm gonna type in my password. Once I've typed in the password, let's click sign in. And I'm gonna go up to hello and my name. Just move your mouse over it and then go down to your account. Click that once. Then go to your addresses just there. Click that again. And what we need to do is we need to add the new address. So let's just click on that. So there you go. First of all, we need to select the country that we're in there. So if we change that, say, to United States, and then we fill out our full name, our phone number, our address, the city, state, postcode, whatever it asks for, do that. And then we need to tick, make this my default address, and then click on add address. Once we've done that, if we're back to your addresses, you need to remove your old address just by clicking on remove. And then you need to go to one click settings just down there, click on that, and just make sure that your new address is selected as your default one click address. Then we need to go back up to hello and your name, and then we need to go down to manage your content and devices, click on that. Go across to preferences just up there, click on that, and then go down to change your country region. So click on that, and there you go. You can click on change there, and you can select your address from up here, or you can manually type it in with your country just there, and then click on update. 
Now, then you go back to your Fire TV stick, Fire TV Cube, and if you go to find and then down to search and search for an app and you still can't download it due to restrictions, then unfortunately what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to reset your Fire Stick back to factory default. So you're gonna have to go to the cog there and then go down to My Fire TV and then down to Reset to Factory Defaults and follow the instructions on screen. Also, you've got to bear in mind, if you do change the region that your Fire Stick is registered to, you might find that you lose access to some of the apps already pre-installed on your Fire TV Stick, like for instance, say FreeV, that's only available in certain countries at the present time. You might find, I don't know, if you've moved from the UK to Europe or to uh, America or Australia, you will lose access to things like the BBC iPlayer, ITV, Channel 4 and Channel 5. Likewise, if you're moving from the US to uh, the UK, you might lose access to things like HBO and Hulu. So you've got to bear in mind that whilst you might gain access to some apps, you might also lose access to other apps as well in the process of doing this. So there you go. I hope this guide helped. And if it did, why not have a look around whilst you're at my YouTube channel? Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.